So, Logan Paul uploaded a new video. Guess where I got to? Trending. How's it going, guys? Joyceco here. Today, I'm going to be talking about Logan Paul. So, pretty much what's happening is I'm going to be talking about how YouTube favors him over other, like, content creators on the platform. And one other thing is, I already noticed this, but Logan Paul uploaded a video called Suicide be here tomorrow. I wonder why he would upload that and ever care. Probably just so he can earn back his subscribers that he lost. But wait, he didn't lose any subscribers after all that stuff and the bo dead body in the forest happened. He only gained subscribers. So basically we're going to look at this video because this is his first video since that incident and of course it's number one on trending because Logan Paul is YouTube's poster boy. So let's just Let's just watch it. Who knows? It could be quality content. For 40 minutes, crying like a baby. Bikers, joggers, tourists, runners, they went by me. Police officers searching for suicidal people went by me twice. I'm standing at the ledge, leaning over the rail with tears flowing down to the waters. And I thought to myself, absolutely nobody cares. And then the voice in my head said, jump now, and I did. And the millisecond that my hands cleared the rail and my legs flew over it, it was an instant regret. Kevin Hines was 19 when he jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. He is one of the many incredible people that I've been grateful to meet over the past three weeks as I aim to further understand the complexity surrounding suicide. And I know I've made mistakes. I know I've let people down. But what happens when you're given an opportunity to help make a difference in the world? The backlash against the social media star. Very popular guy called Logan Paul is in some hot I think water. He's a complete and utter insensitive idiot. He's taking a break from daily vlogging. Even he says his latest content was his biggest mistake. I want to apologize to the victim and his family. Time to learn from the past as they get better and grow as a human being. I'm here to have a hard conversation so that those who are suffering can have easier ones. So basically, a lot of the video is just him talking about how he's still learning and him talking to people who have committed suicide or he talked to someone about in like at the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. And so basically, this is a video of him just saying, Oh, don't worry, guys. It wasn't me, okay? I was just ignorant, and at least I admit it. Now I really want to help you guys. And he got a haircut. With you. I think as a society, as human beings, uh, we just have to be more compassionate. And that includes me too, that's something I'm learning along this journey. And something else that Dr. Draper told me were the five steps that anyone could take to help prevent suicide. Step one is simply just ask. Ask yourself, ask others, are you thinking about suicide? And I just ask. Just ask others if you're thinking about suicide. Do you want to commit suicide? What Do the heck? Do you want to commit suicide? Huh? Do you want to commit suicide? Get away from me! I can do it for you. Get away from me! That's murder, not suicide. I just like to make that dessert, the, the difference. Okay. Step two, accordingly, would be just to listen. Be present. Don't make any judgments. Just to listen. Just to listen. So are you saying that if I were to ask someone, like I just did, how to commit, if they're going to commit suicide, right? You want me to listen? Who do you think I am? You just, you want me to listen? You, you, I thought, alright, in my defense, I thought I was just gonna walk away and just have him keep on talking. I'm just gonna go, no, 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 you don't, never mind, you don't want to commit suicide. Ugh, this is just retarded. This is just oh retarded. And then step three would be be there for them, even after you've already asked, because dependability is key. Step four is then help them connect, uh, whether it's with a friend, a family member, a local suicide hotline therapist, but help them reach out to someone so they don't have to deal with this alone. Lastly, step five is just check in on them, show them that you care, uh, call them up, say, hey, I want to make sure you're okay, can I check in with you over the next few days? Yeah. And that's how we got introduced to Kevin Hines. 
Cue the sad music. 17 years ago, Kevin jumped off of the Golden Gate Bridge and survived. When I found out that one in six high school kids seriously think about suicide, that's, that's stunning. Yeah. This is such a common problem. Logan, all I wanted was for one person to look me in my eyes and say, hey, kid, are you OK? I am so grateful to be alive. And I'm grateful today for every millisecond I get to breathe. I like how it slowly pans in on his face. Like he's just like, I just wanted someone to say, Kenny, are you OK? Because it was almost all ripped from me by me. What's one thing you would have said to your younger self? To the Kevin who is 19, sitting on the bus, if you were next to you, and instead of the guy who pointed and laughed, what would you say? I would just put my hand on the sh <laughs> I would just put my hand on my shoulder, and I would just say, I'm here for you. I got gotcha, you. Bitch. We need to be a society that comes together for every person in the community that's going through hell. And in order to do that, every person that's going through hell, whatever hell, has to be honest about their pain. I wonder if he has the Maverick merch link in his bio. Come on, let's see that link in bio. <gasps> Is there really no? There's no link in bio. From this point on, I want to make an effort to contribute and immerse myself in the conversation. So I'm pledging to donate $1 million to various suicide prevention organizations with the first $250,000 going immediately to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline so they can increase their capacity to help those in need. For anyone watching, I want you to know you are not alone. And most of the time, crisis passes. So if you or anyone you know feels alone or trapped, I encourage anyone to call or even text the suicide or crisis hotline. Both of those numbers are below, and although this is a tough conversation, it's important because things can and will get better. It's time to start a new chapter in my life as I continue to educate both myself and others on suicide. A new chapter. I'm humbled and thankful to say, this is just the beginning. In the last video, I was talking about Tide Pods, but it, that was supposed to be planned for today. But I couldn't find enough, so I had to resort to Logan Paul. But <laughs> I'm just gonna play this for you. Okay, guys, so I'm not even actually Spaghetti. joking. I just tried to just put this close to my mouth, so <laughs> so I could so I could make a thumbnail for the video. And I think I accidentally licked it because I got this salty taste in my mouth, and now there's a little hole and it's leaking all over my desk. So I just went to the sink and I spit it out. I'm gonna just keep on drinking. Just <laughs> thank you everybody for watching. I've been Joyce to Kill, guys. Hope you guys will be looking for my live stream tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be at one o'clock. I hope you guys will enjoy it. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Goodbye.